Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a hair curling tutorial. Um, a lot of you know one of my signature looks is I always have my hair curled. Um, I don't know, I just love the old school curling wand for some reason. So this is my natural hair. Um, I've Let me do a, like a little pre thing here. I've never had my um, hair colored never had it highlighted I do get natural highlights in the summer from the Sun um, so I have virgin hair guys this is all my hair Jesus blessed me with a lot of hair um, I've never had like extensions um, yeah so I have pretty good hair to start with which is great um, but I am gonna show you how I get my curls so let's get started um, and I just washed my hair last night and let it air dry so what you will need is a curling iron. Um, I go back and forth between this one and the Bombay. This is the Con Air. I think I got it from like Target. I will link it for you guys. Um, a good hairspray, a paddle brush for me because I have thick hair, and some clips. So again, this is just how I do my hair. Um, I'm not saying there's a right or wrong way. I've never been trained in how I curl my hair. This is just how I do it. So I section it off into three sections. So I'm going to start with the bottom. Of course, I have a mirror beside me. If you see me looking off camera, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So, and then I kind of just take the hair and twist it into a bun to just keep it out of the way. And then I'm gonna take this back first section, section that off into two sections, and then brush it out. Okay, so I always start on my left side, I don't know why, but that's what I do. And for the bottom, I take a little bit bigger section than I would at the top. Um, take your curling iron, and let me see if I can get closer. So, I start here and then I just smooth it down and I start curling and I'm curling back away from my face. I leave a little bit at the end and then just gently and then I throw it to the back. And then you're going to take another section and I probably obviously will do a speed up once I do a few just so I don't bore you guys. So again, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna smooth it, curl it and pull it down as I go. Leave a little bit at the end and then curl up. And I would say I probably do like five seconds maybe. And then I just gently, tip I like to use is I always use the um, make sure the what handle is facing um, in this case the window or the mirror um, start off that way <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna take on my last piece I'm gonna bring everything I already curled up front so you see the difference <laughs> I have to stand on my tiptoes right now to get it in the camera. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this side. So I wanna make sure I get the very back piece. Okay. So again, I think I kind of break the rules here. Um, I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm not sure though. So now I'm starting with the handle below and I'm gonna curl again away from the face. And I kind of just give some leverage and make sure that little piece is out. And we're just gonna curl. Oh, and another tip is um, for my heat setting. So I have pretty thick hair. Um, I am at heat setting 25 and there's about a 30. I normally take the heat up pretty high. Um, but again, like if you have fine hair, I would not recommend doing that. Um, so just kind of play with it and see what 
um, heat setting works best for you. And I know I probably should, but I don't really use a heat protectant spray. I know that's like a thing. Um, I don't curl my hair like that often. Normally, if I am just hanging out, running errands, not really doing anything, I don't even really wear makeup um, or curl my hair. I just kind of like to be natural, so. Okay, again, so we're starting with the paddle handle down and we are just gonna smooth it, curl back, and then kind of keep curling and allowing that leverage and just pulling down to leave that little end and then curl the rest up. probably sneeze by the end of this video. I have no idea if I'm like allergic to it or what, but I always sneeze when I'm curling my hair and it's the aerosol. I know it is. Um, rando fact. Okay. So anyway, I digress. We have our curls and I'm not going to run my fingers through it yet. I'm going to let them sit in this tight spiral um, until the end. So one layer is done. Um, I'm going to keep everything in the front. Now I'm going to take down this and I'm going to separate it again okay and I'm going to curl it into a cute little bun okay and this is going to look very glamorous I know it's fine it's fine So I do this because now you can see I have my non-curled hair still separated from the curled hair. So it's easy for me to grab those pieces. So now I have that. Now I'm gonna stick that curled section in the back and now I'm gonna separate this non-curled just like I did the first time. I'm gonna brush through it and I, again, have pretty thick hair so it takes me a hot second to get done. Um, okay, so. We are just gonna do the same thing again. Take it, smooth it, curl it away, pull down, curl as you go, leave your little end, and then curl the rest up. I do get pretty close to my head. Um, I know everyone's different, but I like it to be curly up here because it gives it more volume. So, voila. Now, back onto this side, I have a few stragglers, so I just want to make sure I'm getting everything. Yeah. Again, starting with the lever down, I'm going to smooth, curl back. I hope you guys can see. Second layer down, guys, we're almost there. Again, I look like um, Susie Q, is that the girl who had like the spirals? Um, I'm letting them, just keep them there. I know they look ridiculous, but it will help you in the end. Um, I'm gonna take my hairspray. Again, spray the layer down. Okay. Keeping this, actually, you know what? We don't need to keep this in front for this layer. So I'm gonna take everything to the back take down my ridiculous top bun. This is the smallest section so far. So now I'm going to just take this and do my normal part. Um, and you can tell my natural hair does have some, a little bit of wave to it. Um, so that may help 
hold the curls too. You can tell this is my short layer. Okay, so now whenever I get to the front, um, what I like to do is I like to um, take the clip and just clip this section off. Again, I know you look so beautiful. <laughs> Um, you look ridiculous, but it looks good in the end. So now I have this section. I'm gonna try to get closer um, for this. So start the back piece. Take your curling iron, smooth it, twist it, and curl it, ladies. Okay. And again, I leave it on there for like five seconds. slowly release it. Okay. Okay. And be careful when you get this close to your face. What if? I need to really stop saying what up. I'm not a chef. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna start over here. Okay. So I'm starting with the lever down. I'm gonna go underneath, smooth it, twist it, and curl. See how I'm giving like a little bit of a tug to allow for it to like climb back up the hair. So for the last piece, I'm gonna do an up close. Does anyone have these like baby hairs right there? Um, and I always do a little bit um, like tinier sections when I get to the top layer, just because that's obviously the top layer. So I want it to be a little bit more curled than underneath all of my hair. Um, so I always, that's a little tip, I always do smaller sections when I get to the front and like the top. Okay. So now we have everything <laughs> curled. I'm gonna hairspray. Now I just want to go through and like eyeball and see if there's any pieces that I feel like I just want to touch up really quickly. I'll do that. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I unplug my curling iron? Turn it off. <laughs> All right. So now what we want to do, this is a crucial step for me, is I've had it left in the curly cues this whole time. Now I'm going to bend over, which you're not going to be able to see. You're going to bend over, run your fingers through it while you're upside down. And then flip. And then I kind of run my fingers through it one more time. And here we go. It just loose by running your fingers through it, you're loosening up the curls, turning them a little bit more into waves. I like my hair curled though. Um, I do like to use a wand occasionally to get like the wave waves, but I'm a curl girl. And here you have it. And we're done. 
so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's everything you've been wanting. I've been getting um, a request for a hair curling tutorial forever. So I hope it's everything y'all dreamed of. I hope I did a good job explaining for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I will catch you guys next time. See ya.